New at five, are your allergies driving you crazy this week? Well, mm -hmm. it's not just this week's forecast that could be making it worse than years past. Meteorologist Ross Carulio explains why. Spring is here, which means warmer weather, showers and storms, and the seasonal sniffles. And what we're seeing now is that the pollen counts are starting earlier, so in February. Dr. Guido Patel is a certified board allergist for Premier Allergy and Asthma here in Central Ohio, and she says that seasonal allergies are starting earlier and even getting worse. There's more carbon dioxide. Plants are thriving, so there's an overall increase in the amount of pollen, so about 20% increase in pollen that we've seen, and then the pollen, the high pollen count days are about 20 days longer than what they were previously also. A warming climate could be to blame. People are having more severe symptoms. You know, every year I feel like allergies tend to get a little bit worse. So our bodies, you know, develop a stronger reaction to this pollen, but then also there's just more of it. Longer periods of freeze-free days means that plants have more time to flower and release pollen. Also, our topography doesn't help us out much either. Because of the lay of the land, we've got the mountains to the east of us, and so that kind of blocks the flow of pollen, so then it kind of creates these wind channels, so the pollen just kind of tends to settle here in the river basin. Here in Ohio, we see tree, grass, weed, and mold pollen throughout the year. All can be more intense depending on the weather. The pollen tends to travel further um, in, on those dry, windy days, and so when we have the cold weather or we have the moisture in the air, that kind of slows down the pollen so it's not spreading as far. Dr. Patel says to be proactive when it comes to allergies and to get tested if you think you have seasonal allergies. If you are wondering if you have allergies, if you feel like there's some seasonality to your symptoms or you're otherwise feeling fine, you just have a runny nose um, or you wake up with itchy, watery eyes, I think testing is helpful just so you can kind of confirm if you do have allergies or not. And it is that time of the year, as we like to call the pollening, when we finally escaped winter. But unfortunately, we're dealing with something that definitely bothers a lot of people out there. And looking at the allergy index this week, we are looking at moderate levels of mold. Grass is relatively low, but the tree pollen, that is something that is going to be quite bothersome, especially with the weather setup that we have. Warm, sunny, and some breezy winds to end the week definitely will be heightening the pollen count throughout the week.